Hey everyone, this is Bales, and this is the third video that I'm doing showing off our new lineup builder tools. This one will be on exposure, um, player exposure, which is this new column in player models right here. And this is a feature that we have for generating multiple lineups. So in the lineups tab to the right, we have a button to generate multiple lineups. Um, already did a tutorial on this. Between two and a hundred lineups currently you can create. Um, so when you generate um, lineups, we produce the desired number with a certain amount of exposure to players that's uh, more or less randomized, but it's ran randomized around the ratings in your particular model. So you can see Stephen Curry is in nine of these 10, Michael Kidd, Kidd Gilchrist in 80%. Um, because those players rank really highly, you can see Kidd Gilchrist is number one overall, Steph Curry number three. Uh, but you can see this column here called desired exposure, and that allows you to basically tell us what percentage of lineups you would like a player in We'll try to get very close to that while still coming close to optimizing the lineups based on your model. So let's say that we want uh, Kid Gilchrist because he is so scarce at his position. So this is actually a good um, way that I like to figure out how much exposure I want to players is how many players I have rated near each other at a certain position. So at small forward, you can see Kid Gilchrist is just a complete outlier, uh, 13 points in the ratings ahead of Carmelo, and no one else is even close. So let's say we want him in 100%. If you want someone in every lineup, you can actually just lock them in. You can also type 100 into the exposure column, but we'll lock him in there. And then we'll go ahead and say we want Steph Curry in 50, um, and we'll just give some other top guys around 50%. Uh, We'll say we want Marvin in 70, and at center, um, we'll go 50 here. So we have, you can click all, here are the, our desired exposures with Gil, Kid Gilchrist in um, 100. Generate the multiple lineups, we'll do 10. Um, it'll take just a little bit longer when you have more parameters, um, but still not too long. So here are the lineups projected between 245 and 242.5, and the exposures are almost perfect. So we have 100, 100, 70, 70. Uh, the only one that's off is Carl Anthony Towns. We wanted in um, five lineups, and he's in six. So we'll get very close, but uh, it's sort of always that bad. We can get the exposure perfect, but then not... Um, have maybe the most optimized of lineups. We can have perfectly optimized lineups, but then we can't really deal with exposure, so there's just a balance there. So, um, same thing as in the other video. You can save the lineups, go to the My Lineups page, and your exposures are all right here. So you can see your exposure to um, to every player. So these are off a little bit because I had uh, saved some other lineups. I have 110 in there. We can remove those. Um, but yeah, this is uh, more or less how to use exposure. Again, I like to use it based on scarcity at the uh, position. Um, I also you don't think that you um, really need to or, or should even uh, try to get the exposures perfect. You don't need to get 100% at, at each position because... Um, you know, unless the you're, you're perfectly optimizing the lineup yourself, it's not really going to work out. So pick the base of players, the core, maybe lock in two or three who you want in every lineup, um, or give a few uh, very high um, percentage in terms of exposure. Build around that, um, or, or let us build around it. And I think that's really the best way to use exposure here. Um, and last thing, if you fill in a bunch of players exposure uh, and just want to clear it and start over you can click the X at the top and it will clear everything for you so um, that's the exposure tool in the next tutorial I will um, go into more detail about our my lineups page